Howdy folks, welcome back to SnowRunner. We are on the phase four public test server, which means Amir region, and we're on the Erska River map. I'm going to close this and explain on the way. I was Where did I leave them? There they are. I was returning the Azov and the Voron Extreme with its military sideboard. I was returning them back to the warehouse from the jobs I did over here when I realized you know, it'd be more efficient to do it with one rig that can carry all the shit and move faster besides. So I left them at the crossroads so I can go whatever direction I want with them. Um, should I need them for something small? Um, but hauling six pieces, I can do that on one trailer with this vehicle. The reason there's a Jeep sitting on it is because none of this northern stuff I don't have it in my in my list means of production treasure hunter I was sitting right next to that one with the western star um, closer to heaven is in there so I guess it's just the three cargo cult I got bottoms up I got unlucky apex I got hard to reach places I got so I just figured I'd take it along instead of pulling it behind or driving separately. It does have a center point to winch it up there. I didn't film that part because it took nearly 10 minutes to get it on the trailer. to get it just right. Not just on the trailer, but to get it just right. Not crooked or too far back. Took a long time to get it straight and center. But if I was going to do it, I was going to do it right. I'm kind of surprised I'm having trouble with the mud with these gigantic Tega tires when the thinner Ural tire that I normally run I just blast right through it just 
throw a mud rooster and keep going. I suppose this trailer is pretty heavy, but I, I always have a trailer. I'm not going to go up right there. I'm gonna go up over here. I don't give a shit about the waypoints. I don't know why I even made them. I guess just wanted to be prepared for when I hit record. I hope the Jeep works out okay. I haven't used it on this map, but I've used it on other winter maps and had good luck with those big fat tires. Of course, I've used the skinnies and had good luck with those too, but that was on a summer map. Back when the mud didn't suck you in and never let go. I might as well unload this thing out here B C oops gotta unpack which isn't working there we go I got to it with the up and down arrows on the keyboard now let's go to crane Hide. Oops. Raise. Spin. <clears throat> yes, I had a Kraz up here already, but it only has a four spot trailer. See what I mean about getting it straight? It want it. It's gonna go crooked no matter what. It's gonna end up sitting sideways no matter what. It's just the way the game is programmed to handle loading cargo. It's gonna put it sideways so you have to spend time straightening it, straightening it out. Restore crane close functions 
And we're free of the Jeep. Probably, let's see, I can go around, can I? I was going to say I'll probably pull through and get it set up for backing out, but I don't have to back out. I need four service spare parts. Let's double check the job. Because those parts are locked, out at this point it won't tell you on the screen what to pick up but each job needs two plus I need to load that metal beam right there so the first thing I need to do is this I didn't even think about the metal beam until I was looking at the job. want it up close to the boom to make sure I get enough extension if I have to do raise and extend or lower and extend at the same time to get enough extension it's better to have it close to the boom but it looks like I'm okay it's going to keep it in the air all the way out to enough extension. Of course, this is a big crane. When you have to play around with it more like that is when you have the little crane. Go to Hoed, gonna go ahead and pack cargo. So when I go to load at the dock, it will know that I ha already have um, cargo on the trailer. Now, service spare parts for. One, two, three, four. And the beam makes six. Kind of surprised it didn't move the beam forward to give the ascend more room. But, you know, come to think of it, it never does. I, re I will remember complaining about that before or mentioning it. Not really complaining, but you know what I mean. Why not use up that foot? in the front so you're not hanging over a foot in the back and that's just positioning when each each individual anchor location on the truck has a value placed on it where it positions that unit of cargo on the truck and the dude 
that made the trailer just put all the positioning too far to the rear. There's a friction value too for how easy or how difficult it is to break the bands and lose the shit on the road. And you notice the snow run the snow runner vanilla trailers like that horrible four spot dolly they break loose and dump very easily. Why did I go this way? I guess because it was easiest to get out of the gate. But I need to go down, back across here, back across the ice, back uphill here, and through the garage to get out here. So again, why did I go this way? Wasn't thinking about it. Sitting here shooting the shit, not thinking about it. Would have made more sense time wise to have this thing up here and loaded. I haven't forgotten about the metal in the ditch. Every time I look at the map, it jumps out at me. But I haven't needed to make any more metal beams lately. I think I can get around the Jeep. If the damn game was trying to make me hit it. When I was just playing Best Friends Custom Scenario, I had no lag whatsoever. And on this, that's all it'll do. Look at it, just jump, 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 jump. You know, it's terrible. I don't know if, you know, that may not come out in the video video might be smooth now it as soon as I got off the asphalt it smoothed out the lag maybe it's these modified tires
I'd love to go at a high range, but the faster I travel, the more damage I do. This trailer does have a measly 500 points, I think. I think I remember seeing that. Stay away from that spot. That's why I'm hanging to the boulders. Even though they slow me down and they occasionally do a little damage, but I'm trying to say stay off of the soft spots in the ice. Um now I need to look for this. I believe this is it. The way back up to the garage. I need to get the other truck moving too. It's got the bulk of the metal beams on it. I'm tempted to go put those other wheels on it. But I've had good luck in the past with these. very good planning on my part. <laughs> Putting the ass end of the trailer right across the gate, but oh well. Chances are all I'm going to get done is these two jobs. With all the rigmarole. I need to get this truck rolling.
Yeah, that's the gooseneck trailer. There's the tractor. Look at those meats. There was a time I would put the skinnies on it. They seem to per it seemed to perform better to have the skinnies on the front and then double skinnies on the back. Dual skinnies on the back. But that was before this map. That was before they changed the mud. So you can't even get through it. I'm gonna leave it right there. Figure out what's best. All right, following what I just did with the Kraz Chabors, I suppose. Or coming down here, making my way around to this, and then coming down here, following the route that I opened up last time I played. And then, um, like this, and actually like this, yeah. And then straight down. <clears throat> I'll bring the Kraz in from the other side. What's my suspension on? Yeah, I think I'll leave it up there. That's raised. Unless it looks like it's gonna start getting tippy. Then I'll drop it down, but I figure right now I'll probably use the extra height for all this mud that I know I'm going to encounter.
Oh, this is that goofy transmission. That only does like 20 miles an hour in high gear. I mean in eighth gear. When I get this trailer empty, I'm gonna send this truck to the garage and um, change that transmission because that's ridiculous. Jeez. Let's try some low plus. Up, it's just plain stuck. Ah, uh, who knows? Let's try this. Maybe it's one of those logs laying in the road. Oh my god. What in the hell? Look at it on the map. Release winch. Detach trailer. Holy fuck. Recover. Well, I said I wanted to change the transmission. Two lows gears, a fast high gear, eight auto. It's basically the same thing as the special. Where do you suppose our trailer is? And what happened to all the metal on it? I bet the metal is scattered to hell and gone. And the trailer's probably stuck in the top of a tree or some shit. Let's take a look at the map. It showed a, the truck like way the fuck up appear when I was traveling south down this road. Now it shows me a metal beam. Shows me a step deck 
trailer. I don't see service spare parts. Do you suppose they're on the trailer? Can't tell. Or are they scattered around all over the map? Well, the metal beam Is it floating in the air? But it says I got one right here. Well, so much for making any progress on this. And now I gotta come from the garage. All that shit could just be scattered all over. I think I'll come back when I've determined what the fuck is going on with the trailer, the metal beam, where are the four service spare parts? Do I need to just scrap it all? But that would mean taking all six of these all, all the way over to here and make more metal, more metal beams. I don't know. I'll come back when I figure it out. <sighs> don't you just love these frickin' glitches? Thanks for watching. Bringing you back for just a second to show you what I'm trying to do. Um, I realized during the break that there were no spare parts on that trailer. Those are on the other trailer with the crabs. So all I'm looking for is metal and it has metal here and it has metal up there. I'm not going to run all over the map hunting down three metal beams especially when at least one if not two of them is way the fuck up there so I came out with an unspillable trailer thinking I could maybe load this stuff out of the ditch. Maybe it would pass through the roof or the side. 
when you're trying to load it. But no, it's just as solid as when the shit's inside the trailer and won't spill. The only play way you could maybe load it would be to try and swing it in through the back door one at a time and then pack each one. I don't know. Or use the forklift. I'm not doing either of those. I'm going to take it over there and get six new rolls of steel go turn them in to metal beams and then we'll be back on our way I'll see you then I'll bring you in I'm on the way to the processing facility I'll bring you in for a couple minutes of the drive I changed the transmission in this. Actually, I tried a couple of different ones. And this, this one here works real nice. Eight speed with both high and low. Um, both low plus and low negative. That's what I mean. Um, the gearing works real good. <clears throat> By the time it hits, say, fourth, third or fourth, you're going as fast as the eighth gear on the other transmission. This is called, um, it's called OP Iggy's Off-Road R&D as in research and development. It's the most expensive one you can get. Actually, I think it's equal with the um, the special transmission that I had in there before. But we're here. I'm not going to waste gigabytes on doing this. I'll pick it back up again as we're going down to the bridge like we were before. Check out what I found coming down the trail. That's a piece of, either, it's either a piece of the scenery or it's my trailer. It doesn't look like a trailer, but it, much as I can see of it, it just stretches off into the sky. I'm going to I'm going to exit and reload this level. We'll pick it up here for the rest of the trip. Going out of the game and coming back did not fix whatever that is. A scenery glitch or On the, I think that's my trailer way at the top. Um, but anyways, I took a chance 
and it appears that I'm able to just drive through it. I thought that might be the case. Now I'm stuck on these roots. It was one of these roots that I was trying to get over when it wigged out because it did the same thing in the same place when I wasn't recording. Well, it almost did the same thing. I got stuck on one of those roots in exactly the same place as I did with the flatbed. I hooked up to a tree to start winching myself over and I saw the, the truck and the trailer start shaking so I immediately disconnected the winch and then I've already explained about whatever that was on the, whatever that glitch on them was on the map. So, this is what I would have had to do after the point where it glitched out. Do you see how far that trailer was over? I thought about, for just a second, I thought about trying to reverse and decided just go. Just get it off the fucking rock that's making it tip like that. See, the flatbeds tip back and forth like that, too. You just don't notice it so much because of the... Um, because of the big box, the big box, you really see it rock, where you don't notice it so much on the flatbeds. Hi, M134. You go up the wrong road. I want to come down here. Not that far. Want to come right in here and come up like that and then go down the hill. Oh, and the IX-5, when I went back to, you know, I did all, took all, went to all that trouble to get the damn thing up here, loading it, get it up to the warehouse area, loading it on the trailer and taking the time to make sure it's perfectly straight and everything. Well, you remember when I was driving past it and I made sure that the tractor semi-tractor didn't um, didn't smash into it well when I moved the I moved the Jeep so I could use the Kras it was all smashed in the ass end and the back wheels barely rolled the, the fucking trailer must it looks like by the way the roll bars smashed down the fenders smashed down the um sp 
spare tire is smashed down. It looks like that the trailer went right over the top of it. So I've got two options. I can drive it to one of those repair service places or I can recover it to the garage and start out fresh again. This is a different path than I used before. But trying to make that left and go around the big boulder did not look like it was working. I was getting into a lot of tip and where that mark is is not where I normally come out. I usually do come up right here. And then I swing around that pole. This time I came more like this over those rocks and whatever. I'm here. I've still got to get the... Uh, I've still got to get the spare parts up here and the other metal beam. Oh, metal beams. Where it says on the map that there's a metal beam, well, there's one metal beam there. Where does that road come from? Oh, that doesn't come from the quarry. That comes from over here. Rides along this rocky, muddy trail. That wouldn't do me any good to get out of, up, you know, to transfer from the quarry road up onto this road. That wouldn't do me any good, that, that one there. It would be nice if there was an actual trail that connected the two roads. There's so many roads on this map that run very close to each other, but they don't connect. This thing's in fourth, and it's going faster than the other truck did. Eighth. There's fifth. I'm thinking about slowing her down over this rough shit. Alright, we, we made it through that. Look at the trailer rocking. I don't want to get too much speed on it and have that rock take us over like it's trying to do right now. Stop. Oh, fuck. Just as I'm talking about the rock getting to be too much.
It can sway a little from one side to the other, but you get too much weight swinging back and forth, and eventually it's gonna just keep going. That thing appears to be in my way. Eh, maybe I don't have to smash it. Cargo management. Unload tool. Stage completed. Look at the purple trailer to match the truck. Isn't that sweet? <laughs> Close. Shut off engine. Jump over to Mr. Kraz Chub. Boars, wait, before I do that, let me um, do this and then delete trailers and get rid of the scout trailer radar. So there's room for the Kraz Chabors to pull up alongside me. What am I doing? I gotta go to the map. Alright. Let's see how the skinnies do over the fats. The Ural tires over the Tegas. I've always liked these, this tire. It's accelerating up this hill, it's in fourth already. Drop to first just before it crested. Second, third. Big hole in the road. Had a road through in fourth. Drop back to first. There's one of those big cabins. But see, they're ordinarily only used for scenery. That best friends region has you hauling those around. I haven't found a job to haul them yet, but they have them available have the big cabin and the little cabin so if you play if you play best friends region and it says they want a cabin be aware that they have big cabins and small cabins Big cabin, it uses up four spots. The small cabin uses up two spots. Just splat and keep going. 
when it hits that mud. The IX would sit there and get stuck. Oh, it barely even noticed that rock. IX would have just about tipped over, hitting the rock on only one side like that. Bumped into that flat face there and bounced off a little bit. But I managed to keep it from going over the side. That's pretty damn good that this thing made it through a skinny trail like that. With a loaded six spot. I'm gonna have to go wide. And then cut it back hard. Uh, trucks pointed where I want it. Just got to get the trailer to fall. Stop! In fact, back up a hair. I was pff, trying to click the button on the mouse to set the brake because I was as I came around the corner I was changing I was changing the um, camera position with my right hand clicking the mouse doesn't set the brake anyways um Cargo management. We already did the two beams. We want the two spare parts. Which puts a paved deck on it. Spare parts. And finishes out the steel structure. Wow, that was a long time coming. Ah, oh, I've been playing this for three and a half hours to try and get a one hour video. I'm gonna go ahead across first with this thing because I'm in this thing. I can deliver one metal, you pull it off to the side, give the IX plenty of room, and 
X and come on one available now hit the map Look at the cabins in the container. It's part of a job. Obviously, need to sit up here on the road with a large crane and try to reach down. But I haven't found that job yet. I don't know if I care about that job. I'm just trying to do the infrastructure and the access to location, the important ones. I don't, I don't know if I've mentioned this, I don't really don't intend to completely play through this entire region before it comes out on the live server. All I'm doing at that point is playing the whole frickin' thing twice, which I don't really care to do. I did that with Wisconsin. I played every damn job on the Wisconsin map. Then it comes out to the live server, and I have to do every frickin' job again just to be up to date on the live server. All I'm doing here on the public test server is trying to give you guys stage completed. How about we unload Oh, that's on the other truck, duh. I'm being stupid. Um, I don't think it needs to be running to unload it. Unload. Nice looking little bridges. They look like stuff I use on my model my model railroad. HO scale model railroad. That's about the best I can do to get both trucks in it. All right. Broken SUV, trailer, cabin, delivered to the rendezvous cabin. There's all sorts of jobs where you go get a vehicle or a trailer or a cabin and take it somewhere. There's tons of those. There's actually one I was thinking about doing, Warehouse Trouble, because it's access to location I have a Kraz Chabor sitting right there I can go grab that bring it back it comes back right here it's a short trip it's access to location I suspect 
it's access to the warehouse that I'm already using. It just, the game, it wasn't. Remember when I was talking about getting jobs? I said this one wasn't in my list. I think it wasn't in my list because I already did it and got access to the warehouse. But after the game glitched, um, this job was back in my menu, back in my list. All these, it's got these exclamation points. All these jobs that I looked at already to see what they are. They look like I didn't look at them. That glitch did more than just fuck up the truck. So anyways, I've been doing this way too long for, for what we needed to do. It's supper time and I haven't had lunch because I've been sitting my ass here trying to make a video out of this. And I'm probably getting close to an hour and a half. So thanks for sticking with it and I will see you next time.